All right, it's September 26th, 2021. This is Orange Life done drooling. Um, I got some comments in my videos, and I appreciate all the comments that I get because I will use everything that's told to me and uh, make it work because obviously you guys have some uh, really good ideas. And um, I was told that the uh, spin-on filter for the hydrostatic transmission does not lose a lot of fluid. So I also looked on YouTube, and sure enough, spins off, you lose a little bit. So we're going to do that, but we are going to make it easier. We are going to remove the skid plate. That was recommended. I should have done that yesterday to change the fuel filter instead of fighting it. So it looks like it's got, I don't know, a couple bolts here. We'll see what we got. So we got one, two, I don't know, four bolts. So it's worked to take the four bolts to remove this. Well, I don't know if I actually have to. So he used a uh, wrench that went on the end. I'm going to use one that goes around the actual filter. So I'm going to try. Let's see what we can do. So this, again, is the HST filter. It's towards the back of the tractor by the rear PTO shaft on the, under the mid-mount. Um, this was one of the fuel filters we changed yesterday. This was the one that was giving me a hard time. Um, it was uh, quite difficult because the hose is... The hose is short, so you don't have a lot of room under here. So you got to get the, you know, the, the, the hose clamps off. And then with it being new, the hoses just did not want to come off of the, um, the filter. This is the fuel pump. So, again, that was changed. The filter, the oil filter, the front transaxial gear fluid was changed. Um, the oil, um, the air filter, and this is the only one that's left. So I'm going to get my um, tripod. I am going to spin off the filter. Hoping I have enough room. I should be able to spin that off um, with minimal oil leakage. And uh, we'll take it from there. So let me go get my, my wrench. We'll get the new filter. And again, anytime you do anything like uh, putting on a filter you should always lube up the uh, that new o-ring I got a little dent in my filter I wonder if I hit something I don't know so all right let's take it from there let's start what do you got oh thanks so outside time adventure time can mount my mount that on there for me so What's the air filter on the ranger? I'm not sure yet I didn't look Kaden I'm doing this right now bud so, uh, let me, um, let me get my wrench. Let me see what size wrench. I may, I might just remove the skid plate. I think it might just be, might be easier if I remove the skid plate. So let's see what size that is. So let's put you down here. Hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. That should be good. And we're going to get... The wrench. Um, I have this uh, set I use. It's called Met Wrench. It does both metric and standard. They're a great set. Um, my dad actually got them for me. So, a great set. So they do. Uh, they do like standard and metric. So this is a 13 and a half inch. And what it does is it grabs the side walls of the. Uh, the bolt or not instead of grabbing at the corners so it'll do both like this is a 15 and a 19 30 seconds so uh, I use it I use them a lot all right but I think what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna use it just to see what size it is like see okay so we're saying this is a 9 16 and a 14 millimeter so what I'm gonna go do is get a 9 16 and a 14 millimeter gear wrench so because where they are that's the only reason otherwise i would use those but it would be much quicker to use a gear wrench so we're getting 9 16 14 millimeter and we'll see how that goes all right so it'll be easier just to to remove this. We might as well make it easier. So 
that's kind of tight. Oh, it's a nut on the back side. It's not attached. Isn't that just great? Nothing's ever easy. All right. Ah, of course, they are super tight, but that's okay. We'll get it. That's also a 14. So let me get regular. My regular 14. That's 17. That's 14. So we get the regular 14. And we want to loosen. And that's loosen. Hoping I'm getting this on the camera. I think I got you set up in a good spot. But we'll see. Wow. And they are uber tight. Why are they so tight? Loosen would be that way. Alright. Tighten would be... Let the loosey ready tighty. So down would be off, yes. <sighs> wow. Them things are tight. Maybe I will leave them on. No point doing any damage if I don't have to. But I should get them maybe off for next time. <sighs> is on there. I'm just hoping I might, I should have enough maybe to spin off that filter. I'm not sure. This good plate will get in the way or not. So, let's, uh, uh wow. Wow, wow, wow. They are tight, tight, tight. Unbelievable. Let's see. So, yes, it's those two right there. I mean, it's good, it's tight, but. I can't believe how tight it is. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We're gonna maybe try and do it with it on there. Um. That's my filter wrench. Let's see if we have enough room for the filter wrench. So a filter wrench has to go on directionally, of course, because you got to be able to get it on there. And there lies the problem. See that? So skid plate probably has to come off. And here they put these up here. No way, no access. Except for the wrench. And as you can see, it is very, very tight. I'd like to get a, a six point socket on there, but. Everything's a struggle. Okay. So now we got the wrench on there. Alright, she's loosening. Maybe. Well, I don't want to round it. I want to loosen it. Started rounding it. That's what you don't want to do is booger it up. So that one now we'll get the neck wrench on there. So that grabs the walls, like we said. So that grabbed that wall. And we'll put this one on this side. Wow. Alright. 
FYI, those things are very tight, just so you know. So hopefully you're seeing what I'm doing here. I think you should be. I can turn you a little more maybe. Okay. I don't want you to see the top of my head or anything. extra extra tight which is good should just be these four bolts drops the skid plate oh, I also I made it easier this time the tractor put the front of it up on ramps might as well try and make it easier when you can, you know? So, what I'll do on these is I'll put a little bit of anti-seize on these. So next time when I take them off, it's a little easier. You know what I mean? They should not be that tight. This one way up here could be a little bit of a pain. All right, so I need a 14 again. I know you probably shouldn't put this much stress on a gear wrench. That's what we got right now. Oh, that one moved. Wow. Wow, 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 that's all I gotta say. a lot. I don't know if it's the paint that's on them or what, but they take a little bit to get broke. Now the other two on the other side, I probably can get a socket on, which will be a little easier because the socket of our ratchet has a nice rounded handle. Just pushing on these wrenches. All right. Side. Now, to get a 916th socket, try shallow 916th socket on that. Again, we're going to use the McWrench set. So, um, it's got the, uh, like I said, the rounded. I'll show you when I get under there. Where did I put my socket? I wrench it. Can you cut my ratchet? Did you, did you take my ratchet? No. Oh, I found it. Sorry. All right. So, let me show you. This is a McWrench socket. A McWrench socket has, most sockets grab the corners of a nut or bolt. The McWrench socket can do metric or standard. So what it does is it has these little rounded, um, spaces in there and it grabs the side walls so it uh it's actually a cool tool i like them they work good so you can break stuff easier at least that's the plan anyway so we got these to break next uh, i gotta make sure you stay on it though there douglas now you're probably doing is looking at the top of my head so let's put you over here see what we're looking at I don't know what we're getting as far as video quality here but this is what I'm doing now pulling up that one wow. well they really 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 tighten these up man good golly my foot into this one it's that so 
so I said, I'll let the wrench go up there. And I'll use the wrench to hold it. And now we'll put my foot into it. See how that like that. Um, there we go. Wow. Them things is on there. Wow. Let's do that again. The foot. Oh, I'm going the, yeah, I'm dumb. I'm going the wrong way. Really, Douglas? Okay. My wrench got turned around. That was my own fault. It's good thing I noticed that. But at least now I loosened it. So I can turn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was silly. There we go. My own fault. Not paying attention. Worried about the camera. And I turned the wrench around. Yep, that was not smart. Anyways, we're back under the BX. So I am going to put some anti-seize on these. So next time, because when I have to do that fuel filter again, I'm definitely removing the skid plate. So, skid plate is kind of annoying, but you need it. You need skid plates. Skid plates are good. Okay. I'm gonna get that one out. So let's get the 14 gear wrench on it. Get that out. There we go. Loosen it out. Should come out. Come on. So we're gonna get that other one out. Don't wanna booger up the threads. What you don't wanna do. And just use the bolt itself to back itself out, see? Okay. Come on. All right. One more. And the socket does make it a whole heck of a lot easier. Just so you know. It's got that nice rounded handle. So, this will be skid plate removal. It's not hard. I should have done this yesterday. Definitely makes accessing that filter a lot easier, but still would have. That filter either way would have fought me because the way, it, the way it's designed. Such a short hose and stubby up. It's very 